All right, folks, we're back, and I'm excited today to have our our buddy Jeff Quayar has, has come back on the show with us and to tell us about all things Bonnaroo because we're what? How many days and counting? I've got 10, 11, no, nine. Nine, nine days, nine days out. and counting. <laughs> so, uh, That's so we're keeping track. <laughs> Jeff comes and visits with us every year and sort of lets us know what, what all's happening with that situation out there. And great lineup this year. It's one of the best. Every year I question how we're going to top ourselves, but uh, to, to snag royalty twice uh, in, in two years is, is wonderful. I mean, Elton John, I mean, Last Kanye year, West. McCartney was yeah. there. Jack White. Jack, yeah. I mean, Lionel Richie, I think that's, it's kind of funny. Everyone always asks me who you most excited to see. I'm, I'm really excited to see Lionel Richie just his entire career. And I think, you know, the Elton John is going to be probably the, the bit largest sing-along ever. Uh, I mean, just oh, his, sure. I mean, just the number of hits that he has, it's, it's got to be amazing. It's the first, if I'm not mistaken, the first U.S. festival he has ever played. So uh, we feel, you know, we're honored to have him I would, at the I grounds. would think so. That, yeah. Talk about a feather in your cap. Of course, <laughs> he's probably going to have a feather in his cap, too. Oh, yeah. You never can tell oh, yeah. what that guy might have on. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you spoke about Lionel Richie, and that's one thing recently, uh, and I say recently, within the last year or so, I saw him on, on a program, and I uh, might have been involving Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, but he had done a, a duet project okay. and, and sang duets and sang some of the songs that other people had made famous, and then some of them sang some of his. And you just don't remember until you start hearing them. The Lionel Richie tunes. Oh yeah, I mean, go back they're to the Commodores. Just, they're just and, yeah. forever, <laughs> and every one of them is just so good. And he yep. still sings well. Oh yeah, still sings well. What are what are some of the you know you and I were visiting before we came on uh, came on camera right here mm -hmm. about some of the things your group is doing to try to enhance the fan experience at Bonnaroo, and, right. and I, we know it's all about the music and all about the artist. But y'all are doing some special things to try to try to fill that whole deal in and make the fan experience a whole lot better. Yeah, I mean, one thing that we've, we've always felt is special about Bonnaroo is the community. I mean, it's something that separates it from all of the other events that are out there. And we kind of say that, you know, it, it's one of the major festivals of the United States. Uh, but the fact that it's camping, it's in you know, Manchester, Tennessee, right. uh, and, and everything associated with that, it, 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 ha it definitely carries a different a different atmosphere and a different experience. Um, but as, as the festival has grown and gotten older, um, you have fans that are coming back, you have fan, new fans that are coming in, and every year we're trying to evaluate how can we provide a better experience for folks, because it's not just college kids. I mean, it's, it's across Everybody. all ages. I mean, from elder, elderly to, uh, to young professionals to college to, I mean, I've even seen high school and, and, and kids out there. I brought my son out there. Um, so it's what can we do to really enhance the experience Experience. Uh, there's that and there's the environmental side of things. Uh, that Bonnaroo has always been founded on principle of, of sustainability and trying to create something that is uh, self-sustaining and really benefits uh, the earth. Right. And uh, one of the programs I'm really excited about this year is called, we're calling it uh, the Refill Revolution. And we are actually selling a commemorative bottle that for ridiculously cheap to encourage people to stop using um, plastic bottles. So it's a, it's, it's a really, really nice bottle. Plus we have free water all over the site uh, with our hydration stations, which right, actually bring right. up the water from uh, from the ground and, and, and you know disinfect it, clean it, and then it's cold water. Um, but we have those. We also have cups uh, for the beer stands. Mm -hmm. So instead of actually pouring into a plastic cup, which for us we do make, it's a compostable cup, right. um, but let's prevent that from even happening. Right. So it's little things like that that we have going on all over the place that, that I think really start to, to step it up and, and really make it something special for folks. Um, our Bonnaroo Works Fund is, has taken a, a huge step up. Uh, it's been a very passive uh, organization for the past, uh, since it was founded back in 2009. Obviously, we've had a you know, philanthropic arm right, since right. the festival's inception. Uh, but we decided as a group that it would be beneficial for us to, or not beneficial, beneficial for the community if we really amped up our efforts. Uh, so we hired a new person, Nina Miller. Um, she's based out of our, our, our Nashville office, and her role is to is to promote, to brand, to really put a face and, and, and really actively fundraise so we can 
provide more help within the local community. Um, well, and that's one thing. That's one thing I wanted to say. You know, you've been, you have been so wonderful, and and you talk about people and the age groups and stuff. And I, I have a friend. Uh, I'm sorry to say, that is is fighting uh, cancer right now. And, but has a great attitude, but the main thing, the one thing that he's upset about more than anything else is he won't be able to work the, the beer stand that their club has <laughs> mm -hmm. at Bonnaroo. And he, what am I, I'm going to miss Bonnaroo this year. And, you know, that you, all, you have ingrained yourself into these communities around here mm -hmm. and helped so many programs by allowing the the band boosters and the whoever, the Kiwanis or whatever oh, yeah. club it is, to come out there and volunteer at your at your event mm -hmm. and man a station and through what they do there in the sales, you know, you give them a percentage of what they do and a lot of these that's how they fund their whole program. Oh yeah. Beats year. car wash. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Big sale. For sure. And it's a whole lot more fun to listen to <laughs> yeah, exactly. than a car wash. <laughs> Better experience. South Jackson Civic Center. Mm -hmm. I know, uh, and the Art Center, and different things around here, who have uh, who have filled out the paperwork and and asked to be included in mm -hmm. some of the philanthropic efforts of the Bonnaroo Group. You know, have have received some checks, and you know that is huge. Oh, yeah for these people in these areas because we we it's so hard to fund cultural things in our community and for you guys to step up the way you have you don't know how much it's appreciated oh we very very much it's appreciated. we appreciate it yeah. it's i mean it's it's a beautiful community to be a part of and we call it home i mean obviously we own own the property that we sit on so it's it it, it behooves us to you know want to make the place that that we live, you know, a better place, um, and we're we're just excited in all the ways that we can give back and identify. I want to say it's it's around just in direct contributions back, and that that's without tax dollars and economic impact type of stuff. It's over a half a million dollars each yeah, year, yeah. and that's and I think that's just the tip of the iceberg. I think that's now incredible. that we are focusing on the Bonner Works Fund, I think we're we are going to see um, we're going to see that extend. Wonderful, much further. Wonderful. Well, I know. I know you. You planted trees. Trees. You've yeah, done a, a lot, lot of stuff. The root for root program you know, actually yeah, had just yeah, just launched too. So up. you can, uh, if you want to have your own piece of uh, of Bonnaroo property, uh, the root for root program. You can actually go on our website rootforroot.com and purchase a tree in someone's memory, or just because you want to have a tree out there that right. is your own tree on the Bonnaroo property. And what uh, what type of trees? I'm sure you've had. Tulip poplars, and yeah, out there to they're select, all local, they're all locally stuff yeah. that, that works well. Exactly, stuff that, that survives well or thrives well within right, the environment, right, right. Uh, and that you know that's all part of a program to take care of it. But these are between three and six inch caliper trees. They're right. they're, they're trees, yeah. uh, and you know over the course of the years we'll watch them grow and, and provide yeah. more shade out there. And, and of course tulip and, poplars, and, yep. that's the state tree. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, I mean, you boys have done your, and girls, <laughs> and done done, our homework. have done your research <laughs> and know what's going on. Yeah. And uh, you just told me just a minute ago that, that you have left your Knoxville roots, uh, sort of pulled up roots from Knoxville and moved to Chicago. I'm in Chicago, Illinois now. That's correct. And enjoying that. I'm loving it. Yeah, my wife is now a professor at Midwestern University. Um, she graduated, well, is about to graduate with her PhD from the University of Tennessee. And uh, they went ahead and scooped her up up there and caused us to move so and you're eating good food up there. I'm gonna eat some good food yeah hey and that's something else that I want to talk about is the food experience at Bonnaroo is incredible as well bar none. it's one of the best festival food experiences I mean it's it's definitely not your your corn dogs and 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 Oh, I can't even think of the funnel, funnel cake. Yeah, it's, yeah, right, it's right, everything. Right. I mean, we, we've got people coming in from all over the country that specialize in, 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 in yeah, just perfect. delectable, just amazing food from Criff Dog to uh, the Amish donuts. I, I, I dream about those Amish donuts. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, is, it is truly an experience. It's, it's really good food. Well, now I know yeah. it's, been about, it's been about, what, two years ago? Was it two years or maybe three years ago? that uh, you and Hannah Scoggins uh -huh. and I went to the to the uh, Jiffy Burger. Oh yeah. And had the Bonnaroo, the stamp, you know, <laughs> 
new product, the uh, Bonnaroo Burger at the Jiffy Burger with, and it was about that big. I was big, yeah, it's, it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know, all wrapped <laughs> up into one burger. So have you come uh -huh. up with any new Bonnaroo concepts on food? Uh, you know, we haven't, but you know, we, we need to talk to the Jiffy Burger about doing a, you know, we, we were, I don't wanna say criticized, but you know, people thought that it would be more of a, a hippie burger that maybe like a vegan thing with bean sprouts and things along those lines kind of oh, going to our boom. hippie roots. And that's what I said, I was like, it's Southern hospitality. It's like that's, let's, let's, let's clog some arteries here. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we may need to go another route where maybe we have a healthy option and the artery clogging option. So, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, yeah, talk, well, to, we'll, we'll talk to we'll talk to Dave and them we'll and see what we can do. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for spending time with us today. Of we course. appreciate it. And we appreciate all that you and your company and the things that you've done out at Bonnaroo, the site, the excitement that you've brought to the community in this area. And, and just the professionalism with the way you guys and girls go about the way you do business. I think it's phenomenal what you've created out there. And uh, real quick, are there any other, are there, are there, are you working on any other events for that area? Uh, it's always something that we're looking at. Right. It's, I mean, it's, it's a, I don't want to say it's a difficult space, but I mean, it's all very large space. Right. And uh, I think now that the economy is kind of uh, starting to spring back the way bit. that it is, uh, I, I think there are going to be a lot more options, and we had the two the two mud runs that were that were out there, um, and you know we're we're constantly looking at other things, whether we're producing them or we're having someone come to right. utilize the property for right. them. So right. there's there's some things that I feel like could hit, and I would say within the next year to two years, it would not surprise me to see to see something else out there. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. Good good to have you here, good and good here. luck. I hope you have a wonderful, safe event. Uh, Ten days, nine days, nine days, nine days, nine days. Yeah. Woo. All right. Woohoo! The guys <laughs> in the back are going woohoo. <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back after these messages.